Hey guys, welcome to a new review. This time it's of a custom painted Rick Grimes Series 6 action figure. Now, this usually is not a very good one just because of his face paint. Here's an original painted head of this figure. Yeah. I mean, it's not horrible. I actually have a pretty good head here, but it can get so horrible that it's just, like, disgusting. And, uh, here's my repainted version. As you can see, it resembles him slightly more. It's got good sculpt. The only thing that would be wrong with the face would be the paint. This guy's paint is a much better than the previous, as you can tell. Let me do a side-by-side. -side. Yeah. Very light beard, very light eyebrows. And then I had to straighten this guy's eyes a little. I don't know if you can tell that at all, because... Yeah. Yeah, I think I did a good job on that. Um, the figure does suffer from a slight problem, and... It's because he's made to look a bit thicker. Like, the actor is very slender, and this guy's got a bit of a puffiness here. It's not necessarily making him look fat, but it doesn't complement his figure too well. <laughs> figure? That that works for both. Yeah, shut up. Um, it's got good paint on it. A uh, nice dark wash goes into all this stuff. Some brown... Uh, Dry brushing is on it. You can tell. It's a very dirty, sweated-in shirt, which is usually what he likes to wear. And, uh, yeah. Then we move on to his pants. Very well sculpted. Looks pretty dang good. His belt has a lot of details on it, like his little uh, knife there. It's None of this stuff is removable around his belt. But, uh, yeah, it's got some pouches. Suppose these are like ammo pouches, that's for the cuffs. And then here's for his gun, it's a holster for his gun. And the gun goes in there very nicely. It's a nice paint, very clean looking. Which, I don't know, maybe it should be a little more dirty, but... Yeah, maybe it just cleans it frequently, which is what you'd have to do to keep it working. It's got a silver little notch painted in there on both sides and it fits into this hand very well he also comes with an alternate hand which I will show you in a second and then let's set that down his hands well these hands at least at first they're very well sculpted I like this hand very much something about it it's good for holding guns too uh, it's got a nice wash on it to make it look a little darker. Going to the crevices. And then this hand has more articulation than this hand, but it's not necessarily a good thing because it kind of gives him an odd wrist. It's really thick here, and then it's really thin here. Yeah. Whereas this hand is better proportioned, I think. Yeah. Um, He's got his ring on there. Don't know if you can tell, yeah. So, yep. That's nice. He's got very good detail on the back of his shirt. Nice lines. Got little textures from the stitching on there. Then the back of his head here, it's got nice wavy hair, which is what he has. It goes down about just about as long as the actors did. Very nice indeed. Uh... He's got nice sculpt on his uh, mouth area. I think it looks an awful lot like his mouth. Anyway, now that we've gone over the sculpt and some of the paint, let's go over his accessories. First, I'm going to start with his alternate hand. Yep. Which is, it's hard to get this off, but you have to be careful not to break it. But here is the alternate hand. you got to pop it in. Be very careful when using these. Yeah, it's got spinning there. Pretty good. I mean, it's got good articulation, just it looks very skinny. And then here it is holding his revolver. I don't think he holds it quite as well. His fingers are bent, so 
it kind of forces the gun away. Yeah. But not that it's impossible to pose them good with it, just that it's harder. Yeah. And then let me toss in some of the other accessories here. Fits into that hand well. Yeah. I suppose that's good. And then he comes with these D-rings that have a metal chain connected to it. And they're very tiny and flimsy. Now, I own a couple of these ricks, so... Yeah, I I'm getting sick of these things. They, they don't really... They're not a great accessory. I there's nothing you can really do with it. Like, yeah, it's a nice novelty because he did use these in the beginning of Season 3, but then... After that one scene where he uses it, he didn't really use him ever again. Yeah, it's just, I would not have really considered this as a good accessory, but, I don't know, maybe he'll use it for a Walking Dead prison custom. Um, let me put on the other hand so that I can uh, show you how this stuff fits in that one. Uh. There we go. Uh, we saw the revolver, so here is his Glock with a flashlight silencer. I'm not sure why he has a flashlight for a silencer. I don't know if that's, like, something you can actually do, but... I don't know. Uh, it was definitely in the show. I do remember seeing that. It fits in the hand very well. It's got, uh... It's painted black with silver dry brushing on it that you can kind of tell. It's a very long pistol and not very nice looking. I, it's not my favorite accessory that it comes with. Yeah. Let's move on to the machete. This is something that he's used a lot and it's good to get. It's a nice accessory for him. But it is kind of dull colored like it's gray with a silver at the front. Which is not very... I don't think that's very accurate. I, I just don't remember it being that dull colored. But it's not horrible. It's got a, another darker gray handle. There's no dirt or blood on it, really. And there's nowhere to stick most of these accessories. I mean, maybe you could jam this into here in between his two... Yeah. There you go. In between his two pouches there, you can jam the machete in. And it looks okay. Yeah, why not? And uh, I believe I've gone over all that stuff. So let's do articulation. Hand does a full spin because this is the uh, wrapped hand. He doesn't do anything else at the hand. And then he gets a pretty good bend out of his arm. Not so that he could like hold a machine gun too well. In fact, let me... Here's the Series 8 Ricks machine gun. This is a uh, AK-47. And yeah, he can hold it okay. He just can't like hold the sights up to his eye or anything. It's not like great for that. But he does kind of look cool posed with it. Not gonna lie. Uh, as for the character himself, he should have better articulation there because he did use a sniper rifle in that show. Okay, anyway, full spin at the shoulder can go up to almost a right angle at the uh, arm there. Does a good bend, as I showed, pretty good. Not quite 90 degree, which would be good. And then uh, in the other arm, he can do just about the same thing. Perhaps maybe a slight bit less with this going up. And then his arm can bend just about the same. It's a little restricted because of the sculpt of the arm here where it has rolled up sleeves. But not extremely inhibited. And then he does a spin at the wrist. He can also like turn the shoulder there. Which is an okay articulation point. And he spins at two places at the wrist. And then he can do the scratching at a wall pose. And the rolling dice pose. Yeah. He's going to be gambling tonight. Anyway. 
Um, now we move down to the lower part. He gets side twist, but not much. You can't go 360. Uh, he has legs that can kick out far, pretty dang far. Yeah. Then the other leg can kick out just about the same. Good knee bend on both. Then he can do the splits. Very nice splits. Oh yeah. He can split for days. Um, then he has a rotation at the knee. And then no real... Like a slight amount of ankle articulation. Can do a little side to side. More so on the right leg than the left. Well, let's see if we can pass an old test here. Because Jurassic Park is in a similar scale to the Walking Dead figures, they can kind of fit in each other's vehicles when they have the right articulation. And let's see if that can... Yep, he can definitely drive this car. Which is cool because Rick Rimes was a cop, so he must know how to drive a car. Um, I don't think I went over head articulation too well. Uh, he does a full 360 spin, and then it can't go up too much because of his hair. But it can go down pretty good, as you can see there. And then, a little bit of head pivot. Whee! <laughs> okay. Um, this is a nice figure. Let me do a quick side-by-side -side here with another Rick figure, and then let me see if I can grab another one. There's another one, and I don't have the other one that I own by the, by the beside me here, so here we go. Three Ricks in a row. Which one is your favorite? How about you leave that in the comments below? And you could like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would help me very much. Um, as for this review, it is done, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.